if a deflective contact occurs on balancing side what is to be grinded in mandibular posterior teeth okay let us try to understand a few concepts here balancing side and working side balancing side is also known as non working side working side is the side towards which you move your mandible so if you take your mandible towards the right side then right side is the working side and left side is the non working side now non working side is also known as balancing side so in the question on the balancing side there is a deflective contact or an undesirable interference undesirable contact occurring on the balancing side what should you grind in the mandibular posterior teeth also remember the bulls law buccal of upper and lingual of lower these are the non functional cusps okay these are the one that are not going to intercuspate in the fossa and preferred to be reduced in the first place okay now let's try to understand what happens at the time of taking your jaw to the right side so we are talking about right lateral movement that means if you move your jaw towards the right side then this is the left side this is 27 and 37 for example okay now here 37 is restored in our situation we will understand that this is not a restored tooth okay it is a completely healthy natural tooth which is having a deflective contact on the balancing side this shows balancing side for right lateral that means when you take the jaw on the right side this is how the contact is clear so this is the buccal side and this is the lingual side now when you take the buccal side towards this position on the right uh, lateral movement you will see that this kind of a contact comes between the palatal cusp and the buccal cusp here okay now if you want to reduce any interference in this situation you can either reduce the upper fossa or you can reduce the incline of this cusp the buccal cusp so there are two options option number 1 is reduce the palatal incline of palatal cusp maxillary right second option is lingual incline of buccal cusp in mandibular that means if i reduce the lingual incline of the buccal cusp this contact will be better or i can adjust this fossa or reshape this fossa so this is how i can do equilibration for the balancing side contact if there is an interference see in the last image there is no interference so in this image they have shaped the upper tooth but in our question it is the lower tooth what will you do to the mandibular posterior tooth so here you will shape the lingual incline of the buccal cusp and the answer is lingual incline of the facial cusp or the buccal cusp that is option number 